What's up guys, I'm Maths here and today we're looking at inequalities and we're starting off with the A equal A question. So let's get started. So when you've got a less than equal to or greater than or equal to or whatever sign you've got, treat it exactly the same as uh, if it was an equal sign. And there is a caveat to that. So we're just going to draw our lines down. And we know when there's x on both sides that we take away the smaller amount of x. We, we sort out the smaller amount of x. So we're going to take away the 2x from both sides because we've got 7x and 2x, so 2x is the smaller amount. And so we're 7x take away 2x is 5x plus 6. Now make sure you don't put an equal sign anywhere, because on some of the papers you will just get zero marks if you have an equal sign there. It's greater than 1. Okay, next we deal with a 6. So we take away 6 from both sides. And so we've got 5x is greater than 1 take away 6, which is minus 5. And then finally, we've got to divide by 5 to get rid of that 5. And if you're not sure what I'm doing here, just look at the video about solving equations. So minus uh, divided by positive is a minus, 5 divided by 5 is 1. So the answer is x is greater than minus 1. Now I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to just going to show you uh, why I didn't say it was exactly the same as, um, as if it was an equals. Because what I'm going to do is go against my rule here. And instead of taking away the 2x on both sides, I'm going to take away the 7x. Which you can do, it just makes things harder. So I'm going to take away the 7x. So 6 is greater than, and it would be um, 2x take away 7x, so that would be minus 5x. Okay. Then we're going to take away 1 both sides. So we've got um, 5 is greater than minus 5x. So, we know that we're going to divide by 5 both sides to get rid of this bit here. So we're going to divide by 5 both sides. Okay, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. Uh, minus, uh, oh hang on, 5 divided, uh, divided by minus 5 both sides. Okay, so that would be minus 1. And then that would just give us x. So if I write that the other way around, okay, we've got x is less than minus 1. Now, you can see that these two answers are not the same. So there's a problem here. And there's an extra rule we need to remember um, when we do this. Okay, When you divide or times both sides by negative, which we're doing here because we're dividing them both by negative 5, you must flip the sign. So you can do it, but you have to flip the sign the other way around. Okay, And that's, that's the one difference between this and an equal sign. So you'll get minus 1 is less than x, which is the same as x is greater than minus 1, which is the same, so we know that that's correct. So I've done it kind of this way here, not because you should do that in the exam, but there have been questions before in the exam that have said, I don't know, minus 2x is greater than um, 8, solve that. And the first thing you do is divide both sides by minus 2, that's absolutely fine, but you must remember to flip the uh, inequality if you times or divide by a negative. Right, easy one over, <laughs> relatively speaking. And Edexo and OCR have some more difficult questions. AQA has the same uh, difficult questions, I just didn't pick it for this one. Um, so we are asked to write down three inequalities that define the shaded region. So um, at the start of this um, question, I would always pick a point that is in the shaded region. Now, um, if I can, I always pick the origin, because uh, it just makes the numbers easier. However, here the origin is on the line, so it's it's not necessarily e not necessarily um, good for what I want to use it for. So I want to pick a point, nice easy point that's in the region. So I'm just going to pick this one, which is minus one zero, and that's going to be my test point. So whenever I've got um, an inequality, I'm not quite sure which way around the sign goes, then I'm going to use that point. Okay. So to do this question, what you need to do is identify what the equations of each of the lines are. So I'm going to start off with um, this line here because it's the easiest, okay, relatively speaking. And on this line, y is always going to be minus 2. Now that's not an inequality, that's an equation. So we need to figure out what the inequality will be. Well, we know at our points that I picked, y is 0, right? And that's in the region. So if 0 is in the region, then we know that y has to be greater than uh, minus 2. 
Now, this isn't the completed uh, inequality because the line is shown as solid, therefore it can be on the line as well, so it can be minus 2. Okay, If it was dashed, then it can't be that, and we wouldn't put the equal sign in there. So that's the um, easier one done. Let's move on to the slightly harder one, so let's pick this one next. Okay, so um, this goes through the origin, so um, using our y equals mx plus c. Again, if you don't know how to do that, look at our straight line graphs video. C is the y-intercept, which is going to be 0 because it goes through the origin. M is the gradient. So M represents for every 1 it goes across. So for every 1 it goes across, how far up does it go? So you can see here that it goes 1 up. So the equation in this line is y equals 1x, or just y equals x. Okay, because the gradient's 1 and the y-intercept 0. So we've got to figure out what the inequality here is. So it says y is always equal to x. So let's put the values of um, the point I picked into that. So y is 0 and x is minus 1. So what is 0 compared to minus 1? Well, 0 is going to be greater than minus 1. So therefore, it's y is greater than x. Again, it's a solid line, so we put a little line underneath it because it can be on the line. Simple. Right, last one. Uh, I've got to pick which colour I'm going to go for. Let's do a green. Green doesn't show up so well, but we'll give it a go. And if I pick the right one. So this line here, same deal. We've got to work out what the equation of the line is. Um, this time it goes through the y-intercept at 1. goes through the y at 1. And for every 1 it goes across, it seems to be... Um, well, let's let's go 2 across. So if we go 2 across you can see it goes up 1, okay? And the equation for gradient is change in y, which is two, uh, which is 1 even, over change in x, which is 2, so it's a half. And you can see if we go 1 across, it goes up a half. So therefore, it's going to be y equals half x and the y-intercept 1, so it's going to be plus 1, okay? Putting my values for my test coordinate in there, y is 0, okay, that's easy. And we're going to do the right-hand side. So the right-hand side says half times, and the x-coordinate is minus 1, plus 1. So let's work that out. So half of minus 1 is minus a half. Minus a half plus 1 is just a half. So what is uh, a half compared to 0? So which way around the inequality going to be? Well, 0 is less than a half. So it's going to be y less than, um, and it's going to be half x plus 1. Again, it's a solid line, so it has little equals as well, because it can be on the line. And those are my three inequalities that show the shaded region. Last up is the OCR question, and we've got a quadratic equation in an inequality. Um, so first thing we want to do is factorise um, the quadratic. Now, I'm, I'm going to do a video on factorising quadratics, so if you're not quite sure how to do that, don't worry. Check out the playlist, and by the time you watch this, maybe it will be up. If it's not, just wait wait a little bit, and it will be up. So we first of all, we'll put down two brackets. And I'm going to make that a bit bigger, because I'm not going to be able to fit it in. Okay, so we've got x in the start of both brackets, and we've got to think of two numbers that times together to make minus 6, and add together to make minus 5. So it's probably going to be uh, involved minus 2 uh, and minus 3 maybe. No, that doesn't quite work. So we need to solve those first. And to solve it, you get each bracket equal to um, minus, uh, equal to 0. I have it on the right setting. So x plus 1 equals 0. And solve that. Take away 1 both sides, x equals minus 1. And similarly, we're going to do the same with x minus 6. And we go plus 6 both sides. I have it on the right setting. Plus 6 both sides, x equals 6. So our two roots are minus 1, which would be here. And this is a sketch, so it doesn't need to be accurate. And 6. Now, the um, quadratic is positive, 
as you can see here. The, it's, it's positive if there's a positive number, uh, a coefficient of the x squared, or a number before the x squared, which there is, it's 1, but we just don't show it. If it was a, like a minus 2x squared, then it would be negative. If it's positive, however, it is this way around. Right, and that is the worst sketch I've ever drawn in my life. But it's a U shape. If it was negative, it would be an upside down U shape. So we're saying that it is uh, less than or equal to zero. So where on this graph if it is it less than or equal to zero? Well, if I show here on the sketch, then it's less than or equal to zero between minus one and six. As an inequality. We would write that as minus one six here, um, x here, and x is going to be uh, less than or equal to minus. Uh, it's going to be greater than or equal to minus one, but less than or equal to six. Now, if the graph was like this, which it's not, but if it was, then the answer would be um, x is less than or equal to minus one and x is greater than or equal to 6. You'd have to write two inequalities for it. So there's a lot going on with that question. Um, you need to understand how to factorise here. You need to understand how to solve the quadratic here. You need to understand how to draw a sketch for it here. Um, and then you need to be able to use that sketch to identify where the solutions are. So there's a lot going on with that question. And there's a reason why it's four marks and why it's question 17 on the paper. But hopefully you follow along enough for when um, you watch the videos on quadratics and on sketching quadratics, then maybe this will make more sense then. But I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, please click like. If you want to see more from us, we're releasing videos every single weekday, Monday to Friday. Um, just click subscribe and click the bell icon to make sure you're up to date with the videos. If you want to see even more from us, which I'm sure you have already, check out the um, website on maths.com, which has loads and loads of free resources for you to try out. Everything there is completely free. and We've got question papers on every single topic in maths. And there'll be a card that magically appears above me now. Otherwise, thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow.